Wait. Oh, so I can read it. Okay. Wake attacked by Shadow Murderer. The title page of the Torture manuscript. By Alan Wake. Oh, is he gonna read it? Okay. Wait. Departure by Alan Wake. Oh, that's just the title. Okay. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. I was. And Alan awake. Haha, I did it. <laughs> okay. Nice that he reads it. For once, we're playing a game where I don't have to do all the reading. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Please, I've been in an accident. I kind of have a concussion. My wife drowned, but she's not. She's not. She didn't drown in the accident. I went in to save her, but my car crashed. I wasn't in the car at first. I. I went in the water. I, I, I might have a concussion. I don't know what's real anymore. A good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. A phone would be good right now. I wonder if there's like just coffee thermoses like hidden in the woods. Like if I walk over here, will I just find one just laying around? The fact that I can walk back here surprises me. The fact that I can walk a pretty good distance back here surprises me. <laughs> you would expect Alan, Alan to be able to run a little bit longer with all the coffee he consumes, right? Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Hey! Hey, you! Failed! There's been an accident! I need help! Listen, Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Nightfall! Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please. To beat you. Non-refundable reservation. Deposit required. Fair and square. <laughs> I get it. His name is Stucky because he has an axe and he's gonna Stucky, Stucky the axe into my body. I did it. Is there? I'm looking for coffee canisters now. <laughs> Got this nice Silent Hill effect going on though. A lot of motion blur. You know what? Actually, like maybe too much motion blur. Is there a way to get rid of that? I'm sorry. It's just a lot. Like, oh god, no, get rid of the film grain. Maybe that's what's making it like look really bad. Okay, maybe I can handle the motion blur a bit. Yeah, okay, the film grain definitely was fucking my eyes up. Hello, Mr. Stucky? The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Hmm. But I don't have a flashlight. Oh! That wasn't fair. Hey, thermos. Now that I got my caffeine in me, because I'm a writer, I can face the world. I wonder what's over here, just a cliff? What if I walked over to the cliff and he just fucking pushed me over? <laughs> That'd be funny as hell. Insta death. All right, Nightcrawler. <laughs> the fuck? Wish I had superpowers like that. You lose. Shit. It's the latest thing. Oh. Two birds. I forgot how to dodge. Fuck. Prove 
There we go. Oh, that's weird. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. I mean, he's already doing that. Also, that was another Stephen King reference that they just threw in here. So I'm guessing this game is going to be like a huge parody of Stephen King. Either a parody or a fucking like... Like a thank you note or something? I don't know. Hello? I'm being attacked by a madman. Did you cut the fucking... Oh, you cut the phone line, you piece of shit. Oh shit. Hold up, I gotta pick up these batteries. Fuck. Oh! Alright! Alright, 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 I get it, you're, I get it, I get it, you're pu- Okay. Alright, you're pushing me off the cliff. That was a joke earlier. Holy shit. Where- Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that fell on me. Oh shit. Shine bright like a diamond. Oh, fuck. I'm a writer. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. I gotta get used to aiming. Oh. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. I was dreaming. It felt real enough to make me sick. <sighs> Just absorb the sunlight like I'm fucking Superman. But I'm like the Flashpoint Superman, right? So like I'm super skinny and, and malnourished. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. I'll take that. Thank you. Switch over to my gun. I'm going to save the flare for a special occasion. What does this do? Okay, it did nothing. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I oh, maybe the choice. fence was like electrolyzed. To to electrolyzed? The what the fuck am I saying? I gotta, I gotta remember that I'm doing a playthrough because I just wanna honestly look for as many fucking coffee things as I. You bastard. Shot him in the dick. Bye, bitch. I'm a writer. Read a book. I forgot I used to say that all the time. <laughs> I'm not sure if I ever did it in recording, but I know whenever I would play games with uh, friends and stuff like that, like for example, like Resident Evil 6 or something, fucking, whenever you're doing like the wrestling moves on the enemies and like slamming their face into like a bookshelf and shit, I'll just be like, read a book, bitch. Rose Ugh. knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Maybe you shouldn't start by saying she knew she was gushing. All right? I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna... She better not have no weird, like... Like, Alan's meant for me. You can't have him. 
type shit, you know what I mean? I was kind of hoping that the gushing meant like she was attacked or something like that. Wow, that's a bad thing to say. I was hoping that she was attacked. Great, great God. You know, I thought it was like, you know, you know, like maybe I got to save her later or something, right? Keep an eye out for those things. They have good things in them. I'm fucking armed to the teeth. Let's do this. Okay. Hello? Who's that? Hello? Is anyone there? When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Because I hate taking baths. That's why I didn't want to look at the water. I'm like a cat. Meow meow. Get that shit away from me. Hey, coffee. And now that I had my coffee, I felt reinvigorated. I knew I can make it across the water. How's my Alan Wake impression? Was that good enough? The lighting in this game is very good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I mean, it better be good if the whole game is about light and darkness, right? But I said that and then my mind just instantly went, okay, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Manuscript. There's a lot of these things. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that, not sleeping, messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Okay. You know what? Part of me wants to go like, Barry, you're kind of an asshole, but at the same time, the fact that he went, nah, son ain't right. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of startled me a little bit. Like, I didn't get scared, but that loud fucking music shit did get me a little bit. I was like, what the fuck was that? Stucky was still out there. In the dark. Stucky was stuck. And he was like, oh no, step wake, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> what's wrong with me? I'm funny as fuck, that's what's wrong with me. I'm a fucking comedian. And we can't be having that. No, no. Lithium batteries. They gotta. <laughs> you gotta specifically tell me I'm using lithium batteries, alright? You gotta. You trying to sell a brand to me or something? Oh my god, I forgot. Doesn't this game have like a product placement where like there's like a car in it or something? Back up, bitch. Kiss, kiss. Bang. Bang. Alright, I'm getting used to it. Right now, they're not throwing so many enemies at me to where I need to ignore them. Right? Right now, I'm like... I don't... <laughs> I don't want to waste time looking for shit, right? Because it's a playthrough and we do got to get a move on, but I don't want to miss any of the manuscripts or, like, the coffee canisters. But more importantly, the manuscripts. Like, I'm actually interested in the manuscripts. Since Alan runs out of breath so fast, I don't wanna. The staircase was. I don't wanna broken. run too much. You know I what had mean? to make my way up some other way. Good thing, since I'm a good writer and I needed to get in the mindset of a stripper, I took some pole dancing classes. I found a pole and I danced my way up. That way, Stucky wasn't able to Stucky his axe in my body. But then he saw my dancing skills and he wanted to Stucky me with something else. Written by Alan Wake. Uh, 
Where the fuck is the arrow? I just saw it. Did I not? Wait. Confused now. Arrow leading there. Alright. Gotta be a chest somewhere. Come on. Okay, so it is up there. Alright. I'm assuming this is where I have to go regardless. Which way are you... F where are you pointing? This one? Oh no, okay, so this is the secret area. It felt like I was supposed to go this way. Flare gun, batteries. Who's breathing fucking like super heavily in my ear? Steps, Ducky, what are you doing? Oh no. <laughs> Do I shoot that now? Is there a faster way for me to go down? I saw the thing snap back into place. I'm going to try and pick up the pace a little bit. The game has pretty fucking good ambiance, though. I will say that. I'm gonna reach my item limit. You're too good at the game, Wake. I couldn't stay here. There had to be a way to get up there. I couldn't stay here. Some may think it was because I was afraid of getting hit with an axe by Stucky. No, but the real truth was that I stepped in dog shit and I needed to wipe it off with something. I was a bit of a germaphobe. But look at that. Look at this fucking boss arena. And look at that super clear lens flare that's telling me to go over there. Which way do I want to go? Do I want to head towards the boss fight or do I want to head towards the, uh, the bright ass waypoint? Why am I up here? Why am I allowed up here? Is there a thermos down there? Yay, thermos. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Shut up, I'm looking for manuscripts, alright? I'm having fun. It's been a while since I had fun recording something, you know? It's been a while since I recorded in general. Just kind of hoping I can climb through the window. Nothing back here? You fucking let me come all the way back here, but there's nothing back here? <laughs> oh, fuck! Stop it! It's not worth it, Wake. It's not worth it. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Damn it! I thought it was like you go and press a button or something, you know? Way to get up there. Alright, here's the important bit, though. Did they take away my thermos? They did take away my thermos. How dare you. Now you motherfuckers are gonna pay for taking my thermos away. You can kill me! Don't you fuck with my coffee! You threw a fucking axe at me?
burn, bitch. Wait a minute. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Problem solver. Ah, oh, fuck! I missed the page, didn't I? Heard I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight, and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Still drinking this chrysanthemum tea. The taste is starting to warm up to me. Got the motherfucking problem solver, that's right. I wonder where I'm supposed to go. Did it. I did it. Alrighty. Oh, that Prince of Persia jump. Fucking aced it. this way see if there's anything in this truck shotgun ammo do I gotta reload it or it carries two shots? All right, it's a double barrel, I assume. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night! I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment, step outside for a spell, and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Yeah, it's like the force is quietly breathing nice directly into my fucking ear. In the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, man. Makes an old man like me wish I can just, you know, like commit murder. <laughs> like just kill someone, like, like my, like my wife. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone loves guys. Them, they could grab him. Guys, was that a fucking <laughs> Was that a Lenny Pet the fucking rabbit moment? Like what what was that? Yeah, Toby loves rabbits. What was that book called? The Mice and Men? Right? I'm not am I wrong about that one? Is that is that the one right? You have a good night now. Just just look at the rabbits, Lenny. <laughs> just pet the rabbit. At first I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly. For they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. 
with it, I could save Alice. Hmm. I mean, I am missing some pages, but, you know, I, I'm trying my best, okay? But I don't want to, like... If I was really trying my best, I would look at every fucking nook and cranny. The gas station was closer and this playthrough now. would take it's way like longer than it needed to be. Oh, Master Dog. That's what I'm gonna call myself from now on. Master Dog. No, that's what I'm gonna call that's what I'm gonna call my dog Zero from now on. Like, hey, what's up, Master Dog? Just add that to another list of his nicknames. Still don't know which nicknames are my fit. Okay, somebody come and attack me? Why is the music going stupid? I'm just gonna click this button here. Oh fuck, here they come. Oh come on. Aha! White bitch. Yeah, that's right. Get your scary asses out of here. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, light's beautiful. All right. Is there a way to like upgrade this fucking flashlight? Ow! I'm a writer. I deserve better, bitch. Fucking. Yeah, you motherfuckers got arms on me. Hold up. Give me a second. Hold up. <laughs> this is really fun, actually. I just wish that I got the dodge down. Oh! Oh fuck, I heard you. Alright, it doesn't matter where I shoot you. Oh wait, you weren't fucking... Hold up, give me a second. You each take three bullets. Okay. Let's make some, uh... Make some leeway. Is I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself, and possibly I could see myself on the screen talking like a madman. Maybe I am a madman, okay? I'm gonna run back over here because there might have been like a pickup or something. But this definitely seems like a spot where uh, enemies spawn unlimitedly. Back, bitch. I'm gonna safely say that there's nothing else back here for me to grab, so I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. But yeah, that place is meant for you to dump your ammo in there. Oh shit. I'm out of here, bitch! Woo! Hold up! Ow! I'm right here! Stuck in the fucking corner. Ow, damn. 
Oh, come on. You can't put a little nook over here and not expect me to check it. Oh, that's right, Wake. Heal up. Mm-hmm. Feel that warm light on your, on your body. Could use a nice little care package. Maybe I should use these flare guns more. <laughs> I got a shit ton of them. Salad is healthy, guys. Not healthy, hefty. My bad, I'm sorry. It is hefty. You just gotta know what to put into it. Like, it's it literally does nothing but take up space in your stomach. That's why it's recommended that you have a salad. It's great filling. Make it delicious. Put some fruit in it. Oh yeah, that seems like I'm supposed to run away, so I'm gonna run away. There's a main script. Wait a minute. Why am I running away? Fuck you guys. There was a third one, right? The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help, but I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Hmm. Seems like the frame rate went down a bit during that last altercation. Is there a way to, like, unlock it or something or make it run at 30 yeah the frame rate definitely is dropping in this area holy shit like this specific area i forgot i had a shotgun am i gonna look at myself talking like a madman I feel like someone's gonna come behind me and like attack me. In night springs. Tonight's episode, a quantum suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could Look at these developers. <laughs> Look at these game dev devs, Tonight, man. I'm going to I love it. Practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. You're gonna shoot yourself. Quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With 
I was gonna make a joke before he even like went further into the explanation, like, oh, put the gun in the box. Did I die or did I not? Quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools. Gaze upon one No, plug it in. Mortality. He's going to shoot himself. Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Felled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps... I love how it's like, in a, in a different reality, you die. And he's like, yeah, but that's okay. It's... it's infinite possibilities like but what what about that reality <laughs> what what if the reality you died in is the one right now right okay well that was interesting so uh how do i get over there <laughs> do i just jump over i might need to jump over or something Was there a button in there that I could have pressed? Let me check in here real quick. No, oh yeah, there was a button. Okay. Cool, there we go. Yeah. That looks dangerous. Press the button, it did nothing. Alright, now I'm probably gonna get attacked. Looking for manuscripts and shit. I don't want to forget about them, you know? Oh, they're like, make sure you pick up your items. You're going to have to fight a boss real soon. Hi, Stucky. Get your ass back here, Stucky. I'm about to solve a motherfucking problem with your ass. What the fuck? Did he teleport? Thought you had me. Get that light on you, buddy. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna bring your ass to my world real quick. Oh, never mind. I thought that was a... There you are. Oh, 
I thought that was a main script. Okay. Prepare yourself again. Come on, do it. I need to fucking. <laughs> I need the goddamn light. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a life. Thing makes its own life. To come, assuming I hey, a thermos. The gas station alive. All right. Well, Stucky's dead. I guess technically the lady was right, right? She told him not to go in the dark. See what happens. Fucked around and found out. Now I just want to look around real quick one last time because I'm going to assume that I'm pretty safe for now. Just want to see if I can find another manuscript real quick. If not, that's fine. I don't see one. And I don't want to waste you guys time, so. But I am gonna stock up on whatever the fuck I can. That was fun. Fun, nice introduction to the game. I'm enjoying it. I'm in a really fucking good time. It's a deer! I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. You recognize it? Because I don't I didn't even fucking see it. After my adventures in the woods, I thought about taking Having up some track. I just experienced in the darkness, the after the realizing that I can't run that far, at least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. Ah, yes, light making me feel good. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Oh, so that's what happened. Okay. Because I was like, I was like, why the fuck is he clutching his head? The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. 68 annual. Oh, come on, guys. One number away. Serious? I thought I was going to look at the sign or something. Well, before I walk in through the front door, I'm gonna rob you blind, okay? All the right. garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right, I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix her. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? I don't know, dude. Did you just narrate over a narration of yourself? What the fuck? <laughs> he was narrating himself as he was doing the thing, and then he was narrating himself narrating, and then he was narrating the fact that he was narrating himself. What the fuck? Narrateception. Guys, I'm not going to do anything. What if I just walk behind the counter and just, you know, take a little bit of the money? I'm not going to... 
I'm not gonna do anything. Come on, guys. Come on. It's a joke. It's a goof. Oh, now I gotta read. Fuck. <clears throat> The 68th, oh fuck, I can't read. The 68th annual Deer Fest, September 15th to 18th, games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contests, and surprise competitions, live music for the children. Oh, I'm sorry, I got distracted because fucking like, I have I have the game, like you know I have the capture on my computer screen, but I also have it on my big TV in front of me just in case I want to look up at it. And I saw the shadow at the corner of my eye, and I and I was like, set. The fuck is that? Uh, Buck Bucktooth Charlie afternoons in in Montgomery. Montgomery. Am I saying that right? Yeah, Montgomery. The Mystic, amazing phantasmagoria events. That's a big word for children. Don't miss the legendary Deer Fest parade. All right. Guys, what if I like took a took a pack of gum? You know, and didn't pay for it. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it, but. You know, it's just a goof. Right ball, sheriff station. Lady, I shall warn you, I am armed to the teeth. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? No, I'm not listen, fucking okay. Figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, Okay. Why do I feel like we're gonna go to the station Stucky, first? The guy who owns this place. Yeah, I killed I him. I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me, and then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Don't worry, we'll swing by the lake first, and then we'll go, and then we'll go to. Oh, we did swing by the lake. Okay. Oh, you were true to your word, lady, huh? I promise you, I'm not crazy. I was here with my wife. With my wife. You gotta listen to me. My wife's down there. That was a weird transition. And then there's the copyright music. Oh, we're gonna get fucked. Just, a sprinkle stardust just gonna permit the frog it, you know? Just sit my tea and pretend like I don't notice. I'm a chef What else should I be? Please don't take off. 